Hello everyone and welcome to our official channel. Today we are going to discuss about Aryabhatta Ganit Challenge. The Central Board of Secondary Education or CBSE conducts this computer based test in order to see how students use mathematics in their everyday life. Like how they can reach a solution by solving a problem using mathematical reasoning, concepts, facts and procedure. So without any further delay, let us understand about the detailed procedure of the exam. So first, let us discuss about the eligibility criteria for Aryabhatta Ganit challenge. The eligibility criteria for this exam can be categorized into two stages. The first stage conveys that all students from class 8 to class 10th from CBSC affiliated school all over India are eligible to sit for this examination. And the second stage indicates that only top three students will be selected from each affiliated school registered for the first stage. Now let's discuss about the areas of assessments or the syllabus for the exam that consist of three sections. The first is application of mathematics in daily life which carries 20 marks. This includes first change and relationships, second space and shape, third quantity and the last is uncertainty and data. The second part is joy of mathematics learning. This section covers topics like puzzles, history of mathematics, current affairs in mathematics and mathematics all around us consisting of 20 marks in total. And the third section is mathematical abilities. Compromising 20 marks in total and covering the topics like numerical abilities reasoning and spatial ability. So the total marks for the exam including all the section will be 60 and there shall be no negative marking. And student let me inform you that the question will be objective type and the total time that will be provided for the test will be 1 hour. So be quick but accurate with your answer to attend all the answers from the test. Now if we talk about the process of conduct of the test and the selection then according to the CBSC or the Central Board of Secondary Education the following guidelines are to be followed. The process is divided into two stages. In the first stage an affiliated school can apply through the link available on www.cbsc.nic.in on or before the last date as prescribed by CBSC. To avoid last moment rush, school are advised to register well before the last date. No fees shall be charged for this first stage. Second, a sample question paper will also be made available to the registered school with answer keys through the online links after registration of the form. Third, the school registrar shall conduct the test and identify three top students by administering the test. In case more than three students getting the same marks at the top level, a suitable screening test may be conducted by the schools at their own level to identify the top three students. Fourth, School shall register the name of these three top students by paying rupees 900 fees by logging in through the online link as per the given date. During this stage, this link can only be assessed by the school which is registered for the test before the last date. The second stage for the process of selection will be like this. First, a computer based test will be conducted by the board for the top three students registered from each school on the decided exam date. Only the school who have completed the first stage shall be eligible for the second stage. Second is, the detailed modalities of conduct of the test shall be communicated to the school that registered class 8 to class 10th student for the challenge. The third is, and the top 100 school from each CBSC region will be given merit certificate. Now, talking about the fee structure, there shall no fees for the participating in the first stage. However, Rupees 900 shall be charged for appearing in the challenge for the final stage. Fees are accepted only through debit card, credit card, NEFT at the time of registration and student do remember that once fees paid, the fees shall not be refunded. And lastly, I must tell you that 10 schools from each region with maximum number of students participation in the first stage shall be given an appreciation certificate by the board. As per the participation and performance in the challenge may be acknowledged in the portfolio of the students so the students should take initiative to participate and the school also may encourage their student to participate in Aryabhatta Ganit challenge. It also gives an excellent opportunity to identify and nurture mathematics skills and potentials of students. So friends this was all hope you liked the video and if you really did then do not forget to like it and share it with your friends. We will definitely come up with another video as soon as we get any further updates. 
Till then, stay connected and subscribe to our channel for more updates and information like this. See you soon. Bye-bye.